What's up everybody, it's AGX Comics here, back with another video, and this one is The Amazing Spider-Man number 29, Legacy number 923. Um, before we start the video, as always, please like and subscribe below. It means a lot. Thank you for all the new viewers and new subscribers that are coming to the channel. What's up guys? How's it going? And before we kick it off here, um, as always, if you need a refresher on what happened in last issue, go check out the playlist below where I cover each issue of ASM. So yeah, do yourself a favor, go check that out if you guys are looking to catch up. Alright, so going back into it, as we last seen that Spider-Man was in this fight and James Jonas James, James Joan, Joan Jameson came to rescue him with the old Doc Ock arms. Um, and that's where the story takes place, as we see um, Spider-Man flying through the sky, quote-unquote flying, um, with the arms with uh, uh, Jameson, and we see basically him holding on to him as the de old Doc Ock arms are crawling around, right? Um, so, as we see, basically, they get back into um, uh, James's apartment, right? And basically, you know, uh, Peter realizes that they still have Norman. Like, Doc Ock still has Norman. Yes, Jonah Jameson uh, went and saved Peter, but did not save uh, Norman. So, you know, Spider-Man's already got this idea of, like, what could possibly be being done to one of his old enemies turned friends and vice versa, right? It's a whole bag of mixed feelings there. Then we see basically Doc Ock um, controlling Norman, like it has him like strapped down to a chair and he's got some kind of helmet mind control thing where you could see that he's looking into his, his past. Like we see the original Green Goblin, right? And like basically it's this power struggle of like you hate Spider-Man, like there's a reason behind it and I'm going to figure out what the reason is. And basically it's kind of like an interrogation scene of Doc Ock to Norman, right, about like what's your angle here with Spider-Man? Like we, like he's like, what is it? What are you doing? And, and why are you teaming up with him? What's the angle? What's the plan? Give me the plan. Um, as he's persistent, Norman keeps telling him, no, I'm a changed man. I'm doing this out of like lawful good, right? Like this is his conscience have turned a leaf in the story like we've seen before. Meanwhile, we're kind of subjected to back into um, the apartment where basically they're trying to like fiddle around with Doc Ock's old arms and basically how do you control it? Um, they kind of have a like almost a little bit of a fight sequence as the arms kind of like pop out these teeth where the belt would indicate would go, right? And Spider-Man basically, like, throws it into a lamp. There's a little bit of wordplay going on with a lamp. Um, basically, a.k.a. it's just a lamp. Then we cut elsewhere into the comic, which is really weird. This is kind of my review portion here, where we see basically a woman tied up in a web, dogs running. They're like, what's going on, ma'am? And basically, she's like, I'm just a dog walker. And boom, we get Wreck Rap, which actually, I'll be honest with you guys, like, I didn't, I wasn't reading the series when he was introduced, so he's kind of a new character to me. But basically, there's an editor's note that literally states, that's right, true believer, Wreck Rap is back. Will he help Spider-Man? Probably not. Will he save the city? Certainly not. Will he not show up until a later story arc, but we didn't want you to forget him, and Ed really wanted to draw him? Yes. So it's kind of like a little nod of like, hey, don't forget about this character, um, which again, it's like it looks like it's a more sarcastic character. So, yeah. Meanwhile, we kind of go back out from that and we go back to um, Norman and Doc Ock. Basically, um, Norman's still tied up in the chair. He's Doc Ock's using his new arms to basically just beat the crap out of him. And he's still trying to be like, tell me your plan. I might blow it up in front of you. And Otto, he keeps saying, Otto, I'm not lying. I'm sincerely trying to make up for the harm I've caused. And it's like, he's trying to be good. Which then back, we cut back to the apartment. Where basically, they come to the idea that you have to let those teeth, well, they kind of look like teeth, but aka, um, these, these like I, I don't know how to describe it. It's such a weird thing. But basically, where the suit connects to you for Doc Ock's arms there's like little teeth that actually are like a spinal control thing. So you have to literally let them take control of your spine to basically get a grasp and use the suit properly. 
right? And basically the whole thing that Peter's trying to do is is get kind of like a sense of like where where the old the new arms are and how to defeat them. Um, and then basically we see uh, that guy throw Norman across the room. Basically, like won't believe it. And then, and last but not least, to finish off the story, we see Spider-Man with Doc Ock's old suit, or like the old arms on, and an octopus isn't the only thing with eight legs. And I almost left off one of the biggest things, is the last part of the book is basically, there's a serum with a syringe that Doc Ock's about to put into Norman, and it's kind of like, you know, like where... We think he's going to turn back into an evil version, I'm guessing. So that's kind of where we leave off with number 29. But that's it, and that's the book. So this is kind of the review portion, if you guys are new to this. I kind of make my little comments in between while I kind of give you the read for it. Um, Yeah, I think it's been a great, great bounce back from where the kind of... Like, I was not a big fan of the whole Miss Marvel thing, a few issues ago but with that being said i feel like uh, Zeb Wells kind of made a little bit of a turn um the artwork it's kind of growing on me now i still don't like how doc ock looks and kind of like the new suit disc i like the theory of it how they're kind of like individual kind of makes it a little bit more stronger like individual pieces will make it stronger as a group as one versus the old arms and obviously it's cool to see peter in the in the old arms, right? It's kind of kind of cool. It's it's, it's definitely kind of cool. Um, but I feel like it's kind of more like this whole arc from what was it, twenty seven to twenty nine, or actually leading up to thirty. Thirty, I think, is going to be a big issue where it's going to just be a big fight sequence, and it's going to be kind of the payoff to this little mini arc here. Um, that's what I'm guessing. That's what I'm taking my pick on. I don't know where this is going to go. But I think this whole thing is just going to turn the Green Goblin or bring Norman back to his evil self into the Green Goblin days and kind of reset that storyline and also have a big fight sequence between Doc Ock and um, Spider-Man. So with that being said, please do me a favor, like and subscribe and comment below. I'm curious to know if you guys even care about this one anymore. Um, I'm hoping it's 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 turned around a little bit for me, so I'm kind of happy about this book. Um, but yeah, please, uh, please let me know and until next time.